Hey guys, this is Apollo and Synergy from Razor Gaming. Hello everyone. And uh, we're here with a very basic getting started guide or tutorial for the Vault Pack, which was released just around Christmas. So uh, we've set up this uh, big long line just to uh, show you some of the basic machinery, some of the first things you probably will do or should do to get you started in the new world. Um, so just like you would in TechKit or normal Minecraft, the first thing you would do really is to, is to try to set up a base of operations or a safe house where you could run all your operations from. Uh, so this is where you would run into the first or uh, new features of Volts Pack, and that's the uh, Paxel. Um, I'll show you how to make one of those. The Paxel is just a basic combination of the axe, the mining pick, and the shovel. So it's you know best at all, all the mining out dirt or mining out ores or just getting rid of trees. So it's just a very nice multitask tool. So um, as you can see, you can make it from all the other all the ores that are available in the game, but I'll get into, get into that later. So I'll show you how to make one of these uh, Paxels. So what you'll need is a wooden pickaxe, uh, a wooden axe, a shovel, or it could be any material, but uh, we'll start with wood because that's the basic material you'll find, and two sticks. So you go to a crafting bench, and uh, you can sh put these in the top rows, and the uh, sticks over here and this makes you a wooden paxel. Now one thing I've noticed that is the shovel and the axe could be in either of those slots to make the uh, pick the paxel but uh, the pickaxe always has to be in the middle otherwise it wouldn't work. So there's, there's the uh, first basic tool that will help you get started. So once you uh, go out and look for these things, um, first the main ores you should be looking out for obviously you've got coal and redstone that you should be picking up as well as iron but the main ones that you'll need for this tutorial uh, would be platinum copper and tin so here are models of what the ores look like in the world so you can uh, you can see what they look like so the first machine um, assuming you've already gone out and uh, gotten yourself some materials um, the first machine you'll be making is the meta metallurgic infuser it's a mouthful there, but uh, I'll show you how to make one of those. So the first things first, so if you've kind of collected up uh, redstone and uh, iron ingots, you just uh, grab those, stick those into your inventory, take it to a crafting table, and just follow the pattern that I had in the chest. So you go one, two, three, four on the top, left, right, and bottom, and you make one of these uh, enriched alloys. So you're going to make four of those actually with those materials you just had there. Um, to make the uh, next bit, which would be the control circuit, which is another component you'll require, is uh, the, you're going to need the platinum ingot. Now the platinum ingots, uh, you make them by just putting the, simply putting the ore into the furnace. Um, so you'll just put these around the side, similar to the pre previous product, and now you've got two control circuits. Um, now to make the infuser, you've got the recipe right here. You do need furnaces. I did not show how to make the furnace because it's a very basic item. Um, so everyone should know how to make that. Um, so just grab these quickly. And move on to the uh, crafting table. So you've got furnaces top and bottom. You've got the enriched alloy in the middle. Control circuits on the left and right, and you've got the iron ingots all around the sides. So now you've got the metallurgic infuser. That's the finished product right there, and I'll show you how to make that in, how to use that in a second. So that's one of the first machines that you'll require um, to play vaults. So the next bit would be how to make enriched iron. So following the procedure before, you're gonna need to make some enriched alloys. So just like I showed you before. This time you're going to need to make the enriched iron, which is using this recipe right there. Um, oops. Um, now to make compressed iron, uh, compressed carbon, you're going to need all you need is simple coal. Now all you, all you have to do is put the coal into the furnace, and it makes compressed carbon. I've already got something prepared, so uh, you guys don't have to watch me wait for it to be made. Now, to make steel dust, this is where your um, metallurgic infuser comes in. It does require redstone to be powered, so on the right side here, you're gonna, you need to put your redstone, which will power, power this bar here. And on the left side, this is where your compressed carbon will come in, and that powers up that bar there. 
Now you will use the enriched iron, there you go, which will then create steel dust. I've already got some here, so I've got that prepared. Now, um, steel ingots, just e very easy to make. All you need to do is put the steel dust into a furnace and it makes that into the uh, steel ingots. Now, the next uh, item you will need, or the next bit of machinery you'll make, is this enrichment chamber. And I'll show you how to make that. So, all you need to do uh, is make a steel block. Uh, you need that by having nine steel, steel ingots. So you just fill up the entire crafting table. And you'll just require four enriched alloys, which I showed you how to uh, uh, make earlier. Uh, a steel block, a red two, few red stones, and a couple of control circuits. So you take that to a crafting table. You put the uh, steel block in the middle, red stone on the top and bottom, control circuit on the left and right, and you put the uh, enriched alloy on all the sides. And here we go, you've got the uh, enrichment chamber looks a little bit like this. Um, the enrichment chamber is used to make dust out of um, ores. So I'll just show you how to make the tin dust now. Like I said, you just grab the tin ore. You won't need, this, you won't need that many, but that's just uh, for the purposes of the tutorial. You put the tin ore in there, and uh, again, it requires redstone to be powered. It does make a horrible sound, but uh, I think if you walk a bit further away, it just disappears the sound. But uh, yeah, it does make the... Uh, tin ore into dust. It does, does take quite a while, so I'm just gonna jump ahead and show you how to make um, copper ingots, which is exactly the same as most of the other sort of ingots. You just put the copper ore into the furnace. Now, the fundamental difference between Tekkit and Volts is in Tekkit you could use you could have used the macerator to made, make dust out of ores, which would essentially double the amount of ingots you would get from a single block of ore. Now, in this, that this isn't the case in vaults. Vaults doesn't use that sort of system. You cannot make ingots out of dust, because apart from the steel dust, which you obviously to make the ingots, but tin and copper dust are not made. You cannot be made into uh, ingots, as far as I'm aware. So um, once you've got that, so you've got the tin dust you've collected earlier, and uh, some copper ingots that you've made in the furnace. And I'll show you how to power this again. Redstone on the right side. Now this time you use the tin dust to power the left side, and you put the copper ingot into the, into the metallurgic infuser, which would then make bronze bars, which would be right here, just finished. So this covers the uh, basic tutorial on how to get started on vaults. We've showed you how to make a couple of very important machines, which are very basic, but they are very important in progressing through the vaults pack. We've also showed you how to make steel ingots and bronze ingots. These will come in more useful um, in our next tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial will be covering our base, the more basic power sources in vaults. Um, so uh, be sure to stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon.